Today's Pet Advice segment is sponsored by University Veterinary Care Center. And we are joined by Dr. Travis Gratton with University Veterinary Care Center. Good morning, Dr. Good morning. Gratton. Well, August is Itchy Pet Awareness <laughs> Month. <laughs> I don't know who comes up with these I know, things. I, but I know, but you know, it, it, it's there for a reason. You yeah. Know, our, our pets do get itchy sometimes. So what are some of the most common causes of the itching and scratching? Well, certainly uh, because August is the worst month as a general rule for it. Uh, two big things. It's the pollen. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. It is hay fever season, as a lot of us know. Uh, the weeds are beginning to really take over in the pollen counts. Um, you know, the grasses are kind of fading out a little bit. Um, the other big thing, of course, is fleas. We keep having these little storms come through once yes. a week or so, keep us nice and uh, moist and allow the flea populations to continue to escalate. But the biggest cause by far is, is allergies. Allergies. Our poor pets are suffering just like we are. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> well, what are some of the most common signs of allergies well, in a pet? Uh, unlike us who get the, the the congestion, the sinus problems, the itchy eyes and that, um, by far the large just portion of pets get itchy skin and it tends to be feet so they're they're licking and chewing at their feet often throughout the night oh. keeping us awake uh, my dog just started medication yesterday as a matter of fact uh, for that very reason um, ear infections really go up this time of year because the skin that lines the ear flaps and canals is one of the reactive areas um, the skin back over the tail base and the rump is the other really common area um, can be other places the belly the groins, the sides, the face, um, but it's almost always skin problems. We definitely don't want our pets to be suffering, so talk about the treatments that are available. Yeah, for years we had antihistamines, big study that just uh, came out recently um, showed unfortunately that they really are fairly ineffective. Uh, mm -hmm. At best, the the best antihistamines, uh, about 18, 20 percent effective in, in dogs. Uh, so, you know, one in five, it, it helps, but it's a good place to start. For years we had then corticosteroids, like prednisolone or, or um, others, uh, they definitely help the itch. They just shut down inflammation across the board, um, but they have a long, long list of potential problems and side effects, and they affect every other system in the body as well, so weren't really desirable. Uh, in the last few years, we've got some newer products um, that kind of work both on the, on the same general pathway that seems to be the major driver of itch for most dogs. Um, one's an oral tablet called Apoquel. It's given twice a day and often can maintain it once a day. Um, relatively easy. Works every bit as well as corticosteroids did, but it, they have very, very few side effects um, complications. The other um, is is called Cytopoint. It's an injection. Uh, one shot can last two to three months, or sorry, one to two months, um, and really give you long-term control um, for pets who are harder to medicate. Um, it's a little pricier for some animals, but it, it works really, really well. And the only other thing you really need to do is make sure that the secondary infections are under control. Uh, these guys, they, um, uh, you know, they chew and they lick. The skin is wet. It's traumatized. Mm -hmm. They get secondary yeast and bacteria, and if you don't get on top of those, the itch continues because of the infection and not oh. just the allergies. Yeah, don't so. want to do that. Stay on top of it, of it yep. for sure. You don't want your pet to suffer anyway. Yep. So it's cool. I'm glad to hear that there are treatments available. Yeah, technology Do is really helping. It, so. <laughs> technology is a good thing. Dr. Gratton, thank you so much for being with us today. And if you'd like more information about University Veterinary Care Center, just head over to universityvetcare.com.